how could we forget? I totally forgot the lippy. Blonde baddie. Blonde red. Period. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kim Jules here with another wig review. Today is a special collaboration. This is the Blonde Baddie collaboration with Deanna Monet TV. I love Deanna Monet TV. If you guys don't know Deanna Monet, you guys need to check her out. Deanna Monet is just the sweetest. I love Deanna. She does the best wig reviews. Actually, I'm going to insert some clips here of Deanna. And you also need to check out her company, Monet Dior Couture. She sells jewelry, head wraps, headbands. I'll insert a clip here so you can see exactly what she has. Check her out. She's awesome. Check out her website and make sure you also check out her Instagram pages. I will put all the information in the description box below. Let's have a look at beautiful Deanna Monet. Now, as you can see, she slays every style, every length, every color, and every texture. After you watch this video, make sure you head on over to her channel. Let her know that I sent you. And don't forget to subscribe over on her channel and show some love. Before we get into the details of the wig, we have to talk about the lippy. So the lippy that I'm wearing today is a collab liquid lipstick. I love these lipsticks. I have like 12 different colors of these. And this is a matte liquid lipstick in the color mock. So you've got this beautiful red color. Now I had to, with this blonde color, I had to wear this red lippy. And this look is not complete without. Now it's a blonde baddie. <laughs> These glasses, I love these glasses. If you haven't seen my glasses haul from Glasses Shop, you need to check it out. I have a, I got a whole bunch of glasses from Glasses Shop that I reviewed. I'm going to put the link up above and I'm going to put the link in the description box below. Make sure you check that out. Let's, let's get serious now. So this week I actually won from a giveaway that was held by Motown Trust. Thank you so much for this week. I really appreciate it. The style of this week is LDP Spin 70 in the color 613. And here on the cap construction, so you can see that it's got ear to ear lace. It has two combs on either side at the front. It also has a comb in the back as well as your two adjustable straps. So it is a six inch deep part and you can actually shift the part. So you can do, as you can see center, you can do left side part and you can do right side part. I have a preference for either left parts or a center part. So I am going to leave this one. So I'm going to leave this as a center part. So those are the different colors that it comes in. Now this color, this isn't actually the color that I wanted. They asked what color I wanted and I told them that I wanted, I think a one or a one B. I know that's really weird for me, but yes, I do review natural colors on this channel. And with this style, I really would have preferred a dark color, but they sent me this. Now I've never done a blonde like this on this channel. I've done so many colors. You guys, you know, if you've been following me for a while or watching, you know, back to some of my videos, I do lots of colors. So I, I do the standard, like the 1B, the black, um, blue, pink, purple, but 613, I've never done a 613. I've done some blondes, but it's not this bright. I've done like a more toned down blonde and like a two-tone, you know, with darker colors mixed, but this is like a solid 613. So this is new. <laughs> you guys will definitely have to let me know in the, in the comments below if you actually like this blonde. So this is how it looks with the hair all to the front. This is how it looks to the back. This is the left side. This is the right side. And it's really long. The wig is 36, 36 long inches. <laughs> and I'm five foot two and a half. So this is long. Like it goes down past my butt really long
but I love, if you guys watch my videos, I love, love long wigs. Like long wigs are my thing. I love, now I do love a nice short wig, but I really, just something about these long wigs. On the stock card here, it says plus baby hair, more voluminous front hairline. So as you can see, the hairline is very voluminous. It's, it's not natural at all. So if you don't like this type of look, this might not be the wig for you. And you can't even necessarily pluck the wig because there's not a lot of lace here at the front to work with. Now it is a little, you see that it's a little puffy here. And that's actually because my, my hair has grown quite a bit underneath and it's not braided down. So it's, yeah. This wig is heat safe up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. It's got this nice wave. Now what I would do to make it look a little more natural is dark root this wig. I'm going to do a restyling video. I owe you guys a whole lot of restyling videos. So I'm either going to dark root this with a brown, um, with a dark brown, or I'm going to watercolor this wig. So I think I'll probably do a watercolor and just completely change the color. So let me know in the comments below. Would you like to see a reselling video on this week? Would you like to see me either dark root it or watercolor it? And if you want me to watercolor it, let me know what color you'd like to see. It's nice enough. I think I will like it a lot more once I either dark root it or watercolor it. It is a long wig, so there is tangling. So I, I'm just gonna run my fingers through it. Yeah, see, I'm experiencing some tangling as I run my fingers through it. And I am getting quite a bit of shedding. Look, look, I'm getting tangling. Sheds a lot. Look. So beware. Now it could be that this wig sheds a lot or it could be this color. <laughs> because I find that the lighter colors tend to um, shed and tangle a lot just because the hair is put through a lot in order to get it to this color. With synthetic, it's, it's inevitable. It will always tangle, especially when it's this long. And especially in this color, whenever you have like a lighter colored wig that's or a wig that's been processed to get it to this type of color, it's been put through a lot to get to this color. So it makes the hair uh, more prone to tangles and it makes the hair pr more prone to dryness. If you've ever bleached your own hair or lightened your own, you know, natural hair, you will notice that the hair is drier and it tangles more. So you have to care for it more. You've got to moisturize it more, etc. Now this is a synthetic wig. You can't moisturize a synthetic wig. But yeah, it's it's a it's it's a nice wig. I think I would have liked it better in a darker color or even another color because they they had like a copper, um, even teal. I've done a teal wig before. I'll link it up above. Camel green. I've done a camel green wig before. Copper or red sonata would probably be really nice. Or even the rose. Well, you guys know I like colors, but yeah, this is, I mean, this is new to me. So maybe that's why I'm not feeling it as much because it's not a color that I gravitate towards. I mean, this, this, not even this color, this, this tone or this shade of blonde is not a color that I gravitate towards. And it's nice. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. But this is the week for today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Now this wig right here is like some rich Beverly Hills hair. Blonde body. <laughs> Blonde Batty Alert, Blonde Batty Alert, Blonde Batty Alert.